Hello, and thank you for joining us for Environmental Express Tech Tips. My name is Julie, and today we'll be discussing the SPE Express for solid phase extraction of oil and grease. The SPE Express is the latest in automation of EPA method 1664. It will reduce time and labor in your lab, increase accuracy, and decrease the amount of exposure that analysts encounter with the hazardous chemicals used in this test. The SP Express is the only system that extracts your sample and evaporates the hexane, and it does this all in less than one hour. It is also the only system that utilizes a fluid sensor to ensure that the sample vessel is finished filtering. Its unique self-contained construction reduces the need to take up excessive space in the fume hood. Fumes from the hexane used in this test can be vented into the hood or plumbed directly out of the building. Finally, user-friendly PC software guides us through the process and logs data for downloading to LIMPS. Operating the SPE Express is easy and safe. The accompanying software walks the analysts through each step. Enter your sample ID and volume and select your test method from a number of pre-programmed options. Analysts can change different test parameters, such as the amount of hexane used to elute your sample, based on how dirty your sample is. Now click Start Test and the process begins. Start by loading your one liter acidified sample simply by screwing the sample bottle directly onto the station. Next, affix a filter assembly to the station, mesh side down. The SP Express is designed for use with Environmental Express Ultra Flow filters. These low cost, high flow through filters have a built in pre filter to handle even your dirtiest samples. Next, raise the sample bottle until it clicks into place. Open the door to the elution chamber and insert a sodium sulfate drying cartridge. Now raise the lower chamber and clamp it into place. Next, insert a pre-weighed aluminum weighing dish and close the chamber door. The SP Express begins by prepping the filter by filtering through hexane, then methanol, and finally DI water. This prevents the filter from drying after being activated, yet preventing your sample from coming in contact with the methanol. Now begins the process of filtering your sample. The SPE Express is equipped with a unique fluid sensor that indicates when the sample bottle is empty. After this point, the vacuum continues to be pulled through the filter for 10 minutes. The elution step consists of three series of three sprays of hexane into the empty sample bottle. After each series of three sprays, the hexane is allowed to sit on the filter for 30 seconds. It is then pulled through the filter, through the sodium sulfate drying cartridge, and onto the pre-weighed aluminum pan. The pan sits atop a heater mat, which sits at 35 degrees C. This is activated when the elution process begins, so that the evaporation step starts when the first hexane is eluted onto the pan. Once the series of N-hexane sprays to the sample bottle is finished, the analyst can then load a second sample onto that station. The accompanying software guides the analyst through the necessary steps. The elution process also includes a hexane rinse of all of the accompanying glassware in the elution chamber. This ensures that all HEM arrives in the pan and is included in the test. The evaporation time is determined by the software and is based on the amount of hexane used to rinse the bottle and filter. Once the evaporation is complete, an alarm will sound, indicating that the test is finished. It is now safe to open the chamber door. Now we remove the pan, desiccate, and acquire a final weight. A number of measures are in place to ensure the safe operation of the SPE Express. If the sample bottle is lowered during the test, operation stops. Likewise, if the lower chamber door is open during operation, the test will stop and the software will shut off the fans in order to eliminate the risk of fire that N-hexane fumes present. If at any time the analyst feels the need to stop the test, 
the abort button on the accompanying software quickly accomplishes this. The SP Express is the only system that extracts your sample and evaporates the hexane, eliminating a transfer step. It also is equipped with a fluid sensor that indicates when the sample bottle is empty, rather than a time-based filtration. It also can run multiple samples on a single station, which increases throughput and efficiency. To operate the SP Express, you will need a few consumables. The Environmental Express Ultraflow Filter Assemblies, Sodium Sulfate Drying Cartridges, and Aluminum Weighing Pans. Other items that you will need to operate the SP Express are a vacuum pump or house vac, a nitrogen source is 70 PSI, hexane, methanol, and DI water. Thank you for joining us for Environmental Express Tech Tips. My name is Julie, and I appreciate the opportunity to earn your business.